Hello, uh, we accidentally hit the 15 minute mark and it stopped recording. Well, at least you so, stopped at a pretty good time. I think we might have accidentally missed a, a, a line or two, but it's not that uh, major. So, uh, until one of Alex's vo uh, voice acted girls joins back in, he's going to be temporarily taking over Yuri. That way you don't have to listen to my uh, continuously getting more shy and shy voice that sounds like, um, uh, what do I do? So yeah, you, you'd be grateful. Be grateful, you insignificant pricks. Well, it was actually getting a little annoying, so. Alright. Uh, I, I suppose so. Where are we, by the way? I have no idea. It's been 15 minutes. I do, um, oh, we yeah, really that. apologize a lot. Sorry. Slide it until... This should work, right? Oh, the book up between the okay, two yeah, of okay. them. It, it should be us. Yeah, we knew there was going to be that. Low quality game. Ugh, gross. That's why it's free. I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly clo uh, closes her own copy. Once we uh, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders were almost touching. Touching. That's what I said. And I said touching. Get out of here. <laughs> it's a bad pun. I Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll just oh, leave right crap, now. I just, I just missed a line. Oh well. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh. They have special art for it. Dude, this is such a good picture. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the uh, the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Oh. Ah. Oh, sorry. Ah. I do the same thing with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn the page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after she flips her side. I was just about to ask how the fuck you turn a page like that. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in she's in the corner of my vision. Wait, I thought right. I took it. Yeah, forgot. Huh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face, and her eyes met. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't oh, mind... she's smiling now! Yep. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Oh, you can't. It's probably the least I could do. Since you've been so patient with me. Okay, that's... I, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own violation. We continue to read the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost... I thought we were in the prologue. Right? It feels like an intimate exchange. I think we actually... Um, I think we actually moved the chapter up um, after we finished our poem. We, which we still have not read! No, we started the book today! Because she just gave us the book. Oh, yeah. Dude, it totally said we were in the prologue earlier. Not the first chapter. There's a difference. My thumb gently lets go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh. You think so? Yeah, I mean, she's she's addicted to horror, she's living with her sister, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I don't know if you live with your sister or not, but you know what, whatever. I guess these she... are pretty much, I guess the members of the club are pretty much like her sisters. Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. <laughs> but she's also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of rest reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Oh. No, we're, ba we're we're back. The bland, boring stuff. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Daddy Santa, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. 
I'm, I'm sorry, just the thought of my Highlander from For Honor being the main character of the story. <laughs> ter- he's got a claymore in his hand. Whoa. He's got a claymore in his hand as he gently reads with Whoa. an anime girl. It's the best thought ever. You didn't tell me that's what you were going for when you said that. <laughs> no, I, I, told, I, I said in the first episode that it was a reference to my Highlander in For Honor. Oh. I gotta, I gotta rewatch that video then. <laughs> uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Yeah, it really is. Oh, wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I didn't really know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Ellipsis. I like, I, I think I more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah, uh, oh, look at that face. That orgasmic you... face. What are you saying all of a sudden? I uh, think that. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! I thought you were going to stop! She I... has the facial expression! I. Okay! Oh, that's you. Okay, oh. everyone. Alright, I get Yuri in. It loves us! I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Yay! We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Uh. Ah! Uh. No, that's it. Your exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Yep, saved by the bell. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um... I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a bit, well, a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning! In that case, I, I feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. Poem time! Make a mental note of where I left off my book and slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? <clears throat> Hell yeah! My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to something so embarrassing. Yeah, why would you do that? I couldn't really find much inspiration, so I've never, uh, since I've never really done this before. Oh, well, now that everyone's quite ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I think we remember doing giving her the high pitch voice again. It was like a moderate high pitch voice. I can't wait. There you go. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is is, is a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. So who I should think I... we know exactly the answer to this one. Yuri? Yes. You want to take over her voice for this? Uh, sure, yeah. You want to read the poems as well? I'll read the poem. Okay. <clears throat> Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Also, we did write more to her liking than any other than any other one. Yeah. So, as Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Yeah, we we totally. I think it was sixteen out of twenty that were geared towards. Uh, yeah, I think only. I think only one was geared towards. Um, Exceptional. Um, Wasn't that one of the words we chose? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Eh? What was that? I thought I took Yuri's voice. Oh yeah. Did Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Yuri first covers her mouth, but ends up covering her whole face. I, uh, she's gonna, she's going to hate me. Uh, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's, I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? No idea. <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Nope. Really? <laughs> well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Natural. Prodigy. 
Huh? Leary stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Well, I, I know that. <laughs> look at her voice! Look, look oh, at her face! Oh, man. I just meant, um... Leary trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. He said there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up at, pick up on them. Oh yeah, you absolutely thought that I was a experienced writer from the get-go, is that it? I think the most no noticeable thing I recognize that in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick the writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finishes her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like, Oh yeah, you forgot, uh, we should stop stuttering. You should have been, like, talking really fast, just if completely forgetting everything. Oh, well, don't worry about it. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Can you talk a little louder? Mm, yeah, sure. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. <laughs> yeah, that's under a bitch. Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that, yeah, especially you... if they're in the same room as you. No kidding. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, or me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem? Please do. Oh, look at her happy ah. expression. I love to share my thoughts process. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. Uh, uh. The tendrils of my hair. Illu I thought you were going to take the poem. Yeah, but I cannot read this kind of writing. Okay, I got it then. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlights to love have... Uh, uh, to have, not love, withstood the test of time. The last to yet be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Uh. Calm? C yeah, calm breathing of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. How would you want to bet that the writing style- that the writing style of, like, freaking knots of he is gonna be scribble, 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 scribble? <laughs> I can imagine Chicken Scratch being the one. Because, well, hey, she is a little ah! crickets. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I have terrible handwriting? Yuri! No, you're fine. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. It took you a long time to read. Ah, she knows! Oh! She knows! Uh, oh, so he, he just said, ah, look, look. I know, I saw that. You, you prematurely voice acted. Ah! <laughs> Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Like my top ramen. Are you in the ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Daddy Santa. Really? You must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is, by be is only being... Symbi Symb symbiotically. Symb symbolically? Symbolically. Compared symbiotically! To... I don't know, I've been, I've been doing so many things with just symbionts, okay? Uh, we have 20 seconds. Yeah.
Well, I think this will be a good time to end it off right here. Yeah. I think we'll see you all next time in episode six. Well, this is just this is just a lesson. I'm just gonna kind of. I think we should just skip forward to the rest of the section off camera so that we get. Uh, you know. You know. Yeah, we don't have to bore you guys today. Yeah. See you all next time. Bye. Bye.